Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to create a chatbot using OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo. And also I'll show you how you can convert that chatbot into this kind of user interface where user can type something and get the answer. So let's get started. Before we move forward, I would like to show you a tool or a framework uh, developed by Hugging Face called Gradio. So this beautiful interface is developed using Gradio with like, you know, 50 lines of code. Next, in order to use the web interface and open AI APIs, you will need open AI API keys and you can get it from your account and then view API keys. Please don't share your API keys with anyone you don't trust cause it's sensitive information. Next, I am here in my Visual Studio code and I have done three things. First, created a virtual environment. Second, activated their virtual environment. And third, installed all the dependencies required to run the code and uh, few are Gradio OpenAI. Now, I have two files, uh, one is utils.py and second gradiouai.py. So let's first look into Gradio UI. In order to build a beautiful uh, chatbot, what you need is this three lines of code. So I'm importing Gradio as GR and then building Gradio uh, demo using gr.blocks. And inside that block, I have three element. Uh, chatbot message and clear button clear button will clear my message and chatbot so uh, if we look here so this interface is chatbot this is message uh, or you can say text box and this is a button you can see this is text box and this is a button and this is a chatbot now what I do is that whenever a message is submitted I call this generate response function. I pass this to input message and chatbot and I receive uh, two outputs message and chatbot. So this line whenever I hit message call this function and whatever the output returned by this function is set as message and chatbot. So basically what happens is that Whenever user writes a query and user receives a response, this message is stored inside chatbot object. This is this chatbot object. Now let's look into generate response. So this generate response receives a query and chat history, which is our chatbot. First, I use this generate message to create messages. So let me come here. So what it does is receives messages and query. So I format uh, a list inside which I have object. The first object is role system and which says you are a helpful assistant. And then I loop over all the messages and append into this list user uh, a dictionary which is which has role content and role is user and users query. Uh, next role is assistant and content whatever response set by the uh, boat. So if we come here and if we go to documentation, uh, let's say API ref references and inside chat and create chat completion, you can see, um, yeah, not curl, let's say Python. You can see here we need to send a list of messages, which is object or dictionary and which contains two things, role and content. So I'm developing that. Uh, role system you are helpful assistant and then loop over all the messages and create user whatever user queried and whatever assistant has said and finally append the last dictionary or object uh, which has role user and query next what i do is that i append the uh, sorry next what i do is that i have this chat completion function which takes messages which is basically uh, the replication of this function. Uh, 
ओपन ए आई चैट कंप्लीशन क्रिएट एंड वॉट एवर द रिस्पॉन्स कम्स आई रिटर्न दैट एंड इन केस आई फेस एनी इश्यू आई जस्ट रिटर्न वी आर फेसिंग अ टेक्निकल इश्यू एट दिस मोमेंट सो वैन एवर दिस मैसेज एंड चैट हिस्ट्री गोज टू दिस जनरेट रिस्पॉन्स it first generate messages list of messages and then call chat completion get the response and i'm returning this empty string so that whenever this message uh, body receives the response it will clear the message that is our text box as well so that's why i'm sending this empty string so now we can test it like uh, uh, how to create a new python virtual environment oh we are facing technical issue at this moment i'm not sure why uh oh uh let me just stop this and run it again maybe my open ai api key is the issue uh, let me change that yeah i have changed the open ai api key and let me rerun again so whenever you make changes into environment file you need to rerun the application and hopefully uh, let me copy this again so i am not sure it's taking time yeah and yeah we we got the response yeah to create yeah okay so this is what i use all uh, all the time and this is for windows and this is for mac or linux and i guess it is a kind of a correct answer so yeah so this is how you can you know build a, a chatbot using open ai and the last thing i would like to show you is that you can share this chatbot with anybody over internet what you need to do is you need a tool called uh, ngrock i use this ngrock all the time for my clients demo as well so you download this and once you set things up what you can do is that you can use ngrock http 7860 now the 78 oh sorry 60 is coming from here you can see my local host is running on 7860 and when i hit enter i'll get a public url and i can share it to all the users uh, over and over the internet the users can you know uh, test the application and you know i'm recording this video and i need to turn off the fans i don't have ac so <laughs> i'm getting sweated so you can see this is working very well and i can write hi here just to make sure it works yeah and one more thing is that there is this chatbot uh documentation as well you can read about all the things and you can you know make changes to uh whatever things like for example this height so what we can do is that let's say 750 and when we refresh this hopefully we will see a bigger view yeah so this is a kind of a bigger view so you can play around with different arguments and see how that goes so i guess uh, this is it from my side and in case you want to get the core i have written uh, or used here you can go to my uh, github repository and into this uh, maybe it is yeah uh, youtube gradio chatbot open ai and i'll you know uh, i'll i'll keep a link of this github repository in the description of this video uh, if you you know find my work helpful please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace